Hi guys, welcome back to Kev's Kitchen. So this week we're going to try to cook a chicken casserole. So the ingredients we have today are chicken pie, and I got some bacon, and then the base is going to be onions, celery, carrots, with some leeks, and then we're going to add some garlic, some chili, and later on we're going to add some peppers. Also going to add some sausages. Spices I'm using, primarily it's going to be like smoked paprika with salt and pepper and then I'm going to add some regular paprika and herb de Provence. We're going to use a dash of wine for deglazing the pot. Some canned tomatoes and some tomato passata. And hopefully there's room to add a can of butter beans. So the first thing we're going to do is brown off the chicken with the bacon. So the first thing we do is put a splash of olive oil. And you want the pot to be kind of medium high heat, even high heat, because we're just going to brown the chicken and then we're going to take the chicken out of the pot. So, first I'm going to get some bacon flavour. Now, remember I've coated the chicken in a little bit of flour. And don't worry about sticking on the bottom, that's just increasing flavour. Just give this like two minutes more to brown. I'm going to take it out of here and I'm going to put it in here to rest. Okay, so we've had the chicken cooking in here now in the pot for a few minutes. It's getting sticky on the bottom. So we're going to take this out. Yeah. All the bits of bacon. Uh, like we did last week, the steak. With a splash of wine, we're just going to deglaze the bottom of the pan to get all the flavour. Got stuck to the bottom off. That's all flavor. It's probably extra sticky because I put a bit of flour in on top of it. Chicken. So now, that's on off. So now we turn it back on to a low heat. And the first thing that goes in is our onions. I love onions. So, throw our onions in. And we have these onions to sweat now for about three or four minutes before we add in the carrots and the celery. Okay, so we've had the cook onions cooking now for about five minutes. They're getting translucent. You can see they're kind of breaking down. So at the start of your casserole, you want your mirepoix, as I would say, your onions, carrots and celery. So the carrots are going in now and some celery. You want all this to cook down. You want to give it the time to cook down. So we're going to give it another five minutes now. And just let that cook. Be patient now. You're creating your base for your casserole. Also hopefully reducing the size so everything is going to fit into the pot. Okay, so we've just added some peppers in and the garlic and the leeks. Sorry you missed that. And now we're going to add the chicken back in. So yeah, we've got a full pot of food now. So the next things we need to consider adding in is going to be some stock and then some tomato passata and there's a silver in the pot a bit of red wine. 
cool. Okay. So now we're going to start adding the liquid in. First thing I'm going to add is some chicken stock. And then I'm going to add some passata. And then a can of tomatoes. So you really uh, don't want to put too much in. I don't think I'm going to get my butter beans into this. I'm going to get my sausages in there. You can fry your sausages in beforehand, but I kind of like my sausages to cook in liquid because it reminds me of cuddle. Let's go. And the next thing I want to add is some Herbe de Provence. this for a bit and hopefully it reduces some and that's kind of it for the moment I'm gonna put the lid on I'm gonna put it in the oven for at least 45 minutes just before I put it in the oven add some red wine as much as fits in the pot we're talking about a glass at most You don't have to add red wine, so don't worry. Well, and there we go, put it in the oven. So, that. And you put it in the middle to low part of the oven. And I'm putting it at 140 degrees, which is like four on gas. And the longer you leave it, the better it's going to taste.